Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. Oh, let me get it out. Four. Four. For another video. This is going to be the hardest video that I have to talk to you about because it's one of the hardest decisions for me to make. Am I getting my words out? This decisions. I sold 80% of my Harmony One tokens and I just want to really break down the reasons why. Um, it's tough. It really is tough because, you know, I've always believed in Harmony. And I, I, to be fair, I actually still do believe in Harmony. Um, if it's sounding interesting so far, drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. And remember, this is not financial advice. Please do your further research before you invest your money and, you know, decide whatever, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, I, I got into Harmony at a very early stage. Uh, you know, way before I even had a YouTube channel, I was buying Harmony at fragments of a penny. So, you know, when I sell 80% of my holdings, 20% left over is still a huge amount for me. Uh, you know, because especially when the prices fell down again and I was buying more Harmony, and, you know, if you're a patron of mine, you saw those buy alerts. Uh, I just think that, well, well, so like I said, you know, I'm in, I'm in a position where if Harmony does really well going forward, like, you know, one pound, two pound, three pound, like I can, I believe it can, I'm still going to make pretty life changing money from, you know, if in all honesty, because I did have a huge amount. Uh, but I have to think about uh, my personal investment uh, strategies and my personal thoughts and what I believe is good for my safety when I come to investing in crypto. And I just have to take that, that steps. And for me, with everything that's going on right now with like Harmony and the bridge, and we're seeing many other hacks come across, but just focusing on this one, uh, it looks like it's um, a tough decision to see where's you know what's going to happen in the future. I'm going to show you some stuff that uh, that's been going on with Twitter. And uh, is his name Stefan to see or Stefan, you know, the founder of Harmony. And you know he's looking to do further new proposals to come, where validators, you guys get to decide, uh, you know, essentially what happens. And it sounds like. Uh, from what he was saying in his video, uh, I'll get it up. You know, you can see yourself. Uh, it sounds like, let me just give it that screen there. Uh, it sounds like he was talking about, and if you haven't seen this, you can check this as well. Maybe the validators agreeing on maybe like a 50% uh, of coming out of its treasury. And if they do that, cool. But in my eyes, I feel like uh, whatever way it goes, Whichever way it goes, you're going to have a situation where someone's going to get hurt. Some Someone's going to get burnt. Whether it's the investors or the project itself, something's going to get burnt, like affected by it. Because if they take 50% of the treasury, they now don't have that 50% more money that they could have used to help push the project to make it grow. It will have to take longer, a longer period of time. And it very well can still happen. Like I said, if it continues to perform well, it doesn't really affect me that bad because I do still hold harmony i still have that belief because if i didn't have that belief i would have just sold the whole lot completely and i'm still staking it like a boss you best believe but um i do feel like someone's going to get affected somewhere and you know it's very likely that the investors can get affected because if the validators have a choice of uh you know deciding uh to take 50 percent of the treasury and to decide how long it takes for the people that got affected by the hack how long it takes for them to receive it back is it immediately is it over three months is it over two years you know that's going to cause a bit of dispute and even still you know you're still affecting the rest of the investors me you everyone else that have been you know that didn't get affected by it because that's just 50 percent if he turns around and says he's going to take a hundred percent out of the treasury and just cover the whole lot back cool but that still affects the project. And this is why I had to decide what I think is best for me. And I think, you know, just sitting on the sideline right now, sitting back, just watching what happens just to see what's going to happen. I've got that money right now in a stable coin. And I feel like that's the best decision to make right now. I mean, I can even take that money and put it into new projects. And if I do call, cool, you know, patrons, you will see the buy alerts. You saw this uh, it's serious, important sell alert. Uh, and, and, you know, I can't recommend you guys do it. Like, you know, all my alerts, they're never something that you have to follow. It's just something showing you that I'm doing, that I feel that's best. But, you know, time's going to tell what happens with this project. Uh, let me just quickly go back onto this and 
show you what this video was about. So he was talking about, like I said, you know, maybe taking 50% of the treasury, the validators deciding what happens and, you know, from there. But even people still seem upset. Like, I'm just going to go through some of these tweets, like, uh, and I'm not trying to bash Harmony or anything, because like I said, I think it's a great project. I'm still holding this. Uh, I don't trust Harmony One. Token, I lost a thousand dollars since the bridge got hacked, and also it, it's remained silent instead of going up. Uh, well, you know that usually happens when you have some form of attack. It's going to, you know, trade sideways for a period of time until it figures out what it's going to do because people are unsure: do they sell? Do they buy? Do they, you know? So, how about the option to, of people who lost tokens in the bridge gap uh, uh, get nothing because it's the risk of crypto? You know, Steve, you make a valid point and it, it can upset a lot of people when they hear that sort of thing. But it, he does kind of make a valid point. Like, you know, when you get involved in crypto, you have to invest what you can afford to lose. And, and you know, you should not be shedding a tear if you lose that money. Of course, it sucks. It's horrible to lose money. I don't like it. I've been in so many projects, high risk ones, I'm trying to make money here and there and I get done by rug pulls and it happens all the time. But at the end of the day, that's my fault and I can't blame anyone else. And if I did that, I shouldn't have to make everyone else have to pay towards the mistake that I made for investing into it. So it is a tough one because it wasn't their fault. You know, you're, you're going into a bridge that you're supposed to charge, uh, trust and you're putting money into a bridge so people can transfer forward and backwards. And it's a tough one. But even still, people ain't going to like hearing that. But, you know, I just wanted to share what these people are saying. Uh, and then you've got Dave here. What's he, he's just replying to naysayers may uh, cast out fear and uncertainty. However, the prior market cycle top, the next uh, bear market can only make one wonder uh, where that puts all time high. See, I believe, I really do believe that Harmony is going to perform well if they can figure it out where it's not going to affect in, current investors right now and and not affect the project as such where it hasn't got money to do what it needs to do. Uh, I do believe it can perform well. And this is why I decided to hold on to some still and still stake like a boss. Look at the market cap. It's 229 million. This is a mid-sized cap. So if this was to, you know, let's just call it 100x on my money, where would 100x put it? So you're talking, uh, look at this, look at the price up here. So 10x is like 18 pence, 100x is £1.86 pence, you know, because if you shimmy it across, £1.86. Essentially, the market cap would be about a 22 billion market cap. That could be doable for Harmony. I don't know. Time's going to tell. And if it does, fine, you know, I sold 80%, I ain't going to get that, but I'll put it in other projects. But it still does make me great money. Um, and, you know, this, this is why, I like, I, you know, when I did the sell alert, it's not something that everybody has to follow. Everyone's going to have their own version and opinion on what they feel is best for them when it comes to this investment. Uh, but this was just a tough one because, you know, I love Harmony and I talk about Harmony. And I'm still going to be bringing Harmony videos. You best believe. You best believe. You best believe. Uh, 22 billion market cap can be possible. Time's going to tell. Time's going to tell what's going to happen. Uh, but I just feel like I need to sit back and I got to do what's best for me right now in, in, re in relation to investing and just sit back and see what happens with this whole proposal and what's going to happen going forward. And then if prices rise, fine. If they, you know, I'll still make money. If it falls, then fine. Uh, we'll see what happens. But I just want to leave that with you and uh, just let you know I sold 80%. Guys, I'm going to leave it here. If this was helpful to you in any shape or form, drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. <laughs> Listen, if I have to put that money somewhere else so I can 10x my gains, you best believe I'm going to do that. Uh, but yeah, uh, become a patron if you want so you don't miss this stuff. I have seven tiers. Let me show you on the screen here. Take your pick. I recommend my exclusive VIP partner tier. Let me find it down here. I've got a few tiers. You choose which one you want. But I recommend this one because it unlocks all my posts. You can see when I'm buying when I'm selling, when I'm staking, all of that stuff. If you want that little bit more, I have a CEO tier. I actually put it in there in my VIP Telegram group, telling them that I was going to do this before I did it. So, you know, they knew first what my plans were. And if you want to get those super alerts, become a patron because, you know, that sometimes it can really help. Like we've been buying coins that have been pumping like crazy over the last two days. I mean, it's not even a joke. <laughs> if you became a patron in the last two days uh, or two or three days and you bought, like a boss with the buy alerts, you made two, three times your money back straight up. Maybe four, four, five times your money back. Actually, we made a four to five X gain on one coin in the last two days. It's not even a joke. <laughs> I sold and it pumped even more. And I'm thinking, ah, oh, 
I should have held on a bit longer, then sold. Uh, I didn't sell it all, just, you know, portions. But this is what you get in the super alerts and, uh, and the other one as well. You know, you can see my sell alerts and stuff. So if this helps you become a patron, don't miss out. Trust me on that. It's not even a joke. Uh, but thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.